Has your mother ever told you to not go outside with wet hair? Did she tell you that you would catch a cold if you did? You might be tempted to respond. Ha! Well, only cold viruses cause colds, not temperature. <laughs> well, fortunately for your mom, she may have been right. You see, the common cold is caused by this guy, the rhinovirus. The rhinovirus enters through large cavities such as the mouth and nose and multiplies in the body. Studies have shown that colder temperatures lead to a less ideal environment in the nasal cavity, which causes a decrease in the white blood count. When you have enough of these guys in your body, you get sick. The inside of the body usually remains at around 37 degrees Celsius, an environment in which the rhinovirus is unable to multiply. However, when the weather becomes cold, extremities such as the nose, toes, and fingers become colder than the rest of the body, making it easier for the rhinovirus to thrive. That's because the rhinovirus grows best in colder temperatures, near 33 degrees Celsius. White blood cells are crucial for immunity against invaders, so a lower number of them means a weaker immune response. This becomes a problem because decreased white blood cell count causes the immune system to be much slower in colder temperatures. The immune system can't fight back. This creates the ideal environment for the virus to replicate and cause sickness. Think about it. It's the temperature where they get stronger and our bodies get weaker. So your mother may not be completely wrong. <gasps> Having wet hair may, in fact, increase your chances of getting a cold. So next time your mom tells you to dry off, better be safe than sorry. Stay bundled and dry. <laughs> <laughs>